The world is uncertain and no one can really know what the future might hold. But here are three things that I think we can be confident of seeing in 2024. Inflation will decline further. It's already come down a bit since its peak at the end of 2022. It might not, or it might decline as quickly as the Reserve Bank would like, but we can be confident that it will come down further over 2024. And what that means is that the cost of living pressures that Australians have been facing will start to ease. And that's a good thing. The population surge that we saw over the last year or so won't be repeated. When Australia's borders and China's borders reopened after the pandemic, foreign students came back in something of a rush to in-person in-country studies. Visa backlogs were also cleared and many other people came to Australia after not being able to arrive in the past few years. In addition, there weren't the outflow of graduating students who had been studying in country, leaving and partly offsetting that inflow. So we saw a big surge in population growth, but that won't be repeated. Even without any policy changes, we will see population growth moderate to something more like the averages of recent years. What that means is that some of the pressure in the housing rental market will start to ease. In recent times, rents have been rising quickly and rental vacancy rates have been very low. It's been hard to find a suitable home for some renters. Over time, that will start to ease and some of the pressures will abate. Another thing is that the climate transition will continue. For some of us, we might just be noticing more electric vehicles on the roads. Other things that will be happening include more investment in renewable sources of power and a renewal of our electricity grid here and overseas. But there'll be other things happening under the surface. There'll be research into better battery technologies, uh, research into more energy efficiency and greater adoption of home automation to align the usage of electricity with the peaks in renewables production. Mm -hmm.